Right, uh, this is another KBAT question, I think. So I'm going to call this one as K, the KBAT question. Yeah, so f for this question over here, mm, there's something you will basically you will need, you need to understand. First thing is, okay, the diagram 17 is show a side elevation of the inner surface of a unique cups which can be represented by the equations of y equals to ax power of 3. This question I find quite tough is because if you want to find uh, volume, if you learn about integration, you want to find volume, you always need to have something like y squared and x squared. But in this question, what you have is you have x power of 3. This is the first thing is quite tough. The second thing I think this question is quite tough is if you don't know about how the equation will look like, yeah, it will be very difficult for you to imagine in this question. All right, so what I'm trying to tell is if y equals to x power of 3, your graph basically will be something like this. Uh, you have some graph is actually passing through the zero, passing through the zero and go like this. All right, this, is, this one will be your qubit. Yeah, your q cubic equation. But definitely, I know we're passing by 0, 0. Because of what? If I have y equals to ax power of 3, I'm trying to form a table. And then if I'm... This is y, this is x. If I make the x equal to 0, my y will equal to 0. So I definitely know that we're actually passing through the 0, 0. Okay, so what I'm trying to do over here is... Okay. I will try to sketch out the y axis and x axis and give you some idea. Right, since this is y equals to ax cubed, so I, I don't bother so much about uh, I don't bother so much about the negative part. I will just pay attention over here. I mean, I will pay attention for. For this line over here, uh, sorry. Let me just draw it nicely a bit. Okay, I, will, I will just pay attention over here. Okay, so. Basically, your graph is look like this. This is uh, y equals to a x power of three. All right. So, I'm I mean from the uh, from the di uh, graph itself. Actually, we can understand something. First, we can understand is okay. We we basically we can divide this one into the half here. So therefore, I know a certain. Point. I know a certain point, and this question actually asks about cm cube, and this is mm. So I will change this one into the cm, which is eight centimeter, which is seven centimeter, and the bottom will be two, uh, four centimeter. So since I, I will actually move this one into a half here, so I understand something like this. From this value, you going down here, you will get a value four here. Okay, and this one because you you will get four centimeter. Your the other four centimeter is on the ne negative side. So this one maybe somewhere here. You are passing by, you actually you will get a two there. So I try to make the two is more center a little bit. Yeah, it's maybe somewhere here. So you will get a two here. Right, and then what we understand is total from here to here, it will be seven. It will be 7 cm. Now, what we need to do is basically we want to make this area to actually rotate 360 degree on the y axis to get our uh, volume of the cup. All right, this one is basically the idea here because we know here is 4 and, and here will here be 2. All right, so but before we do that, we ha actually we have to solve it and find what is a value over here. Because if we have an unknown a here, this uh, we actually we can't solve. So over here, we we are, we are able to actually get two different y value. I do not know what kind of y value I will get. Maybe I do some assumption. This one I going to call it uh, y one. This one maybe I call it y two. But I know the uh, value between them it should be seven. So from here, uh, from here maybe I can try to substitute the coordinate in into here and then I, I try to see what I can do. So I will try to substitute the 4, the 4 into the x here and then I see what value I will get for y. So my y2 basically equals to a and then this is 4 power of 3. All right and then yeah and then this one is basically my y2 equals to 64a. Okay and then 
what I understand about my Y1, my Y1, I was trying to substitute a 2 into it. So my Y1 is basically equals to 8A. Alright, so what I understand is I use the Y2 minus the Y1, I should basically get 7. Okay, so what, I'm, what I will do over here is, yeah, Y2 minus Y1, basically I will get 7. So I get 64A minus 8A, I should get 7. And then this one, I will get something like 56A equals to 7. So A basically equals to 1 over A. Alright, this is how I get A. You can use a different uh, simultaneous equation method to solve this one. So after I get A equals to 1 over A, what I will do is I will rewrite my equation. This is uh, 1 over A, x power of 3. Alright, and then of course the first thing is I try to find what is my y1 and y2. So if I know my uh, x is equal to 2, power of 3, my y basically equals to 1. Okay, if I know my x is uh, power uh, 4, 4 power of 3, I know my y is equal to 8. So after I find out this value, what I will do over here is, I will try to do some substitution, means, means I will just write the value here. This one is from 1 to 8. Okay, okay, so far so good. So, okay, if you understand until right now, then the next thing is, okay, this, this is a step to help us to find the a, so I will just erase it. So the next step I will do is, I will try to make x as a subject. Because if I want to rotate the y axis, the volume formula basically equals to pi integrate from a to b x square d, dy. Alright, but then the problem is we don't have the x square. We, so what, what I will do is, I try to, I try to cure both sides. Okay, so let me just erase this thing as well. So I will just write, this is uh, 1 over 8 and then x power of 3. Okay, I try to cube root both sides. This is how I cube root it. I mean I multiply power 1 over 3. Then this one is basically y power of 1 over 3. So if I cube root 1 over 8, I will get 1 over 2. Then this one I, get, I will get x. I will move the 1 over 2 to the other side. x basically equals to 2y power of uh, 1 over 3. Alright, then what I will do next is because I want to have an x square, then I will square both sides. So therefore, my x squared basically equals to 4, 2 squared I will get 4, and then y power of 2 over 3. Alright, so after I got this one, then I try to find the volume. I'm using the volume formula. The volume basically will be integrate, the pi will be outside, and then it, it should be, it should be, because it rotates 360 degrees, from 1 to 8. And then over here is just integrate the 4, y, 2 over 3. Okay, this is how we actually do this kind of question. Then what we do next is we just simplify this one. I mean, we just need to integrate. So integrate basically tells us that um, power, you have to plus 1. It will become uh, 5 over 3 if you uh, 2 over 3 you plus 1 divided by 5 over 3. Okay, and then this one is from 1 to 8. Alright. I hope I didn't make any silly mistake here, but it should be correct. Oh, it's cube root of 108, I get 102, move to the other side, and then square both sides. Okay, yeah, it should be correct. Then, five, divide 5 over 3 over here. If you understand, basically, I can move my 3 to the front here. It become multiply. Okay, this one you should know this is just the normal way we solve a fraction. So this is pi. And then here, I basically, I have 12. 4 multiplied 3 is 12. And then my y is, uh, yeah, my y will be 8. Power of 5 over 3 over 5. Yeah, minus my 12. If this one will be 1 power of 5 over 3 over 5. Alright, then I will just solve this one. I mean, 8 power of 5 over 3 should be, should be 32. So I will use 32 times 12 divided by 5. So over here, I will actually get 96. Minus, this one is just 12 over 5. Alright, then I solve this one. I use this one, minus 12 over 5. And then I will get, uh, yeah, I will actually get something like 90, 93.6 pi. Alright, this is how we solve this kind of question. 
I mean, if we don't make any mistake, yeah, this one should be how we actually solve this kind of question. Means you basically you will need to able to see uh the pattern of the equation because when you see the graph, you should at least understand what the graph will look like. Yeah, before you actually make any mistake there. All right, so I guess that's all. I hope I don't make any silly mistake here. Yeah, 5 over 3 and then, yeah, 8 power of 5 over 3 should be, yeah, should be 32. Should then do 32 minus 1 and then multiply the whole thing. Yeah, so this one should, should be the final answer. Yeah, so I hope this video basically can make you understand about this part. Yeah, if you find out, yeah, a, uh, any mistake I make, you just let me know on the comment section below. Anyways, I hope you can learn something from this video. Thanks for watching.